Your first nine minutes after waking up will decide how you will perform throughout the day. Here in this video, I will give you 10 powerful morning rituals that you can do in just nine mini tears. If you're watching this video, I believe you are new to stoicism, yeah right? As you are feeling motivated right now, you might consider including a lot of things in your list. But in my opinion, motivation is unreal. To become habitual, don't fall into the trap of a tight regime. Wake up, dude. It doesn't work anymore. Your regime must be flexible enough that it can't hold you back regardless of external factors like undeniable responsibilities, time constraints, or travel. Sup, viewers? You already know what we will talk about today. But the upcoming video will only benefit you if you do this. Okay, now hear me out before you go to bed tonight. Make sure to spend 10 minutes purposefully planning the next day. Don't make a huge list. Just write out three tasks that you must accomplish tomorrow no matter what. Do them immediately after you wake up. You will feel more energetic throughout the day. Now, let's start the video now. 1. Early morning reflection. I believe early morning reflection is pretty much fun to start with if you are a newbie. Just breathe with a smile on your face. Take some time to be grateful for what a precious privilege you have to be alive again in this beautiful world. Just the mere act of waking up won't be given to countless people around the world. Remind yourself you are gifted with another life-changing day. This heartwarming though will fill your heart with a lot of confidence. After that, give yourself a healthy reminder that you can only control certain things like your thoughts and actions. This will help you to prepare you positively to deal with whatever the day brings. Even today, sometimes I struggle to get out of my bed, and it's completely okay as it's part of the growth. I just talk to myself by saying, what do I have to complain of if I'm going to do what I was passionate about? I was brought into this world just to nag about my surroundings. Or is this what I was created to snuggle into blankets and stay warm forever? Do this and trust me you won't feel any trouble getting out of the bed anymore. 2. Stick with the situation at hand. Are you finding yourself in a difficult situation right now? Have problems at work? Do you have continuous thoughts that you aren't able to go any further now? My observations are if you are feeling all these thoughts, then you are also waking up overwhelmed. Don't worry, I got you. Here's the stoic meditation that can be a game changer by overcoming these feelings. Don't let your imagination picture everything worse or else you will be crushed every time by your imagination and suffer. Stick with the current situation and ask yourself shamelessly, why my thoughts are so unbearable? Why I can't just survive and stand with this? You will be embarrassed to even answer this question. Sometimes our own thoughts are visualizing the things which are not as bad as we think they are. By doing the above medication, you can truly stand in front of your fear and can punch your negativity. Still have doubts with this medication? Pause this video and do this right now. I believe you have your answer right now. Come on now, like this video. 3. Negative Visualization Another name of this morning exercise is premeditation of adversity. Negative visualization might seem contrary to previous suggested exercise. Listen to this exercise, and you will be amazed to see how beautifully it pairs with each other. You can think of any super big meeting you have with your team or potential client today and all of the things that can possibly go wrong. Or you can imagine if you are having a test coming up, and what if you fail? The classic choice is to imagine what could happen if you lose basic senses like hearing, smelling, or sight. You might be questioning yourself, what the hell? What's this guy even talking about? Get my defense imagining the negativity can help you appreciate the most basic need we tend to take for granted. I understand it might feel strange to even think about it like what the heck. I don't want a sudden roller coaster of negativity just after waking up. Or you're probably saying this to me, are you out of your mind? I don't want the self-victimization session or want to get hosted by anxiety. But trust me, it will help you to mindfully think about your fears, which are actually not as bad as you think. Four. Wanting what you have, it's in our nature we always want more, more and more in our life. Sadly, our mindsets don't know the actual meaning of happiness. We think our happiness depends upon grabbing a new job, having a luxurious house, closing big clients, or having a super romantic partner. No matter how cozy we are living our life compared to our surroundings, we always find ways to complain about what we do not have. If you are serious in cultivating a stoic mindset, the idea is instead of taking what you have for granted and getting frustrated on what you don't have, you need to reflect on what you have to gain satisfaction, gratitude, and happiness. Here's how you can do it. Think about what are the current good things you have. It could be a relationship, a job, high-paying client, or anything else. Now, shift your mind to the things that you desperately desire. Question yourself. How will this desire make you feel? 
What will be your emotions after you get it? Why is it so important to you? Now visualize losing all of it. Find all of that grief in your heart when that aspect of your life is gone. Picture the regret, feelings for not appreciating it while it was yours. Sit and hold this regret for a few moments. Now, return back to your present self where you haven't lost all of those thrilling things. You will feel a pure flow of completeness, gratitude. You will realize the things you are giving so much importance could leave you any time. Plus, it's not in your control, so what's the point of taking my present things so granted? Disclaimer. I am not suggesting nor the point of this exercise is to make you feel psychologically attached to external objects and relationships, but to help you get grateful and cherish your present time. 5. Inner Exploration When I look back to my past self, I realize there's one thing that keeps holding me back. That was my mindset. I used to dream so frequently of dropping everything and spending the rest of my life on an unknown island. I wanted to get away with all of that. But now after doing a lot of research, my definition of traveling has just changed completely. The ancient Stoic philosopher observed that people tend to direct travel as a form of escapism. However, if you watch closely to the Stoic mindset, it's true that you have absolutely everything you need right now inside yourself. You need to dig yourself and explore that unknown territory of your own. In nutshell, there is a hidden world of the soul inside you, but the blockage is your mindset. 6. An aerial view. With all the chaos going on in our life, we always forget how small we are in the grand scheme of things. Okay, hold on, don't think of this exercise like a taunting ride of pointlessness of your life. It doesn't mean like that way. This exercise nourishes your mind to clear up and actually see what really matters to you. Let me help you to explain how an aerial view can help you zoom out and see things from a great mindset. Think about the things with a different perspective with a border mindset. Like what are things that are bothering you? You might be amazed to see itself as unimportant. Or the opposite will be you will expose it as something you are ignoring thinking about it makes itself essential in your life. 7. Tap into the present moment. This legendary simple meditation has changed millions of minds. You can find dozens of mind-blowing stoic quotes regarding finding happiness in an existing moment. Well, it's so true. People lose the true value of the present by fixing on their past or future. Biggest mistake you can do to yourself is to project your happiness into the future. Live immediately with full energy. Tune your morning by in present moments. This can help you take actions in present rather than procrastinate on things. 8. Contemplation of death. You can find it disgusting, thinking about death just after waking up. But trust me, it doesn't sound so deceptive if you positively think about it. Look, reflecting on your mortality can have some surprising life-affirming effects. Think about it this way, death is both natural and inevitable. No one knows or guarantees when they will pass. In this morning's practice, sit quietly and think that today or every day after that have the potential to be the last day on this planet. Question yourself, did you accomplish what you wanted to in life? While engaging with this practice, try to connect your mind with the present and explore what yourself while saying this is all I truly have. If I want to do something meaningful in my life, present it all I have where I can reach my desired results. This activity will stop you from spending countless hours on things which lack meaning and worry less about the things that have less importance. 9. Contemplation of fate. Let's think about something that so awful happened in your life, something that still makes you feel dreadful. Or what about something great that you desperately want but never happened in your life? Now you're probably questioning, okay, this is so simple. How does this make my day powerful? Here's the juicy part, my friend. When you start looking at things with this grand scheme of perspective, you'll end up finding something unexpectedly refreshing to learn from this horrible experience. Suppose that you're saying there is no lesson in that blood-sucking experience, still you will get personal growth. So there's no regrets at your end. As a solid stonic believer myself, I have a strong belief that nothing happens randomly. Stoics quote says that everything is part of a greater system. 10. Contemplation of the Sage There is hardly anyone in the world who does not want to live a virtuous life, but mostly people overcomplicate it. You just need to picturize the ideal sage or wise person with your eyes. What do you think the qualities a wise man should hold? What's your opinion on how a sage man needs to act in different circumstances, and how would they spend their time? If you're finding it hard to come up with a perfect sage man image, let's do the opposite. Just think about what would the character of the least ideal person look like. After that, you will be able to include some people as a role model. But remember while coming up with your role models, don't forget that they are humans too. There are always some qualities that you likely believe to be negative. That doesn't take away the virtuous qualities they have exhibited. 
Before wrapping up, I understand you will find it difficult to incorporate stoic ideas into your morning rituals. There are various other ways as well to spend your quality time as stoic. As you are new, I suggest you start with early morning reflection. Stick with the situation at hand or tap into the present moment. Alright viewers, do you like today's video? If yes, do like and share this video in your circle as well. Consider subscribing to this channel. I will catch you up out of my eye for sure.